Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to create this entire, I just scratched my own face. I'm going to show you how to create this entire look. It is super dramatic, a kind of nice cool toned blue sparkly eye. Winning! I hope you really liked it. I have my hair tied back. I mean business. We're here for the makeup and that is it. If you would like to see how I created this tutorial then please stay tuned. Let's do this. So all my skincare is already done and I'm just going to go straight in with my primers and things like that. First thing I'm going to use is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Matte Primer. This is the soft matte primer. I'm just going to take one little pump on the back of my hand and I'm just going to apply that to my centre area. And this stuff is just, it's really a primer. It keeps me in control of the middle of my face. It stops me from getting too oily. It keeps my foundation on really well and it works really nicely underneath this foundation I'm going to use today. I really like the way it looked after everything was done. Next, I'm going to go in with my foundation. This is the Iconic London Foundation Stick. This is the shade 2.2, which is a little touch light for me, if you can see. It's a pretty good match actually, but I like a nice kind of tanned foundation. So I'm going to apply this straight to my face. And then I'm going to mix it with my other colour that I used to use when I was a bronze goddess. So I'm just applying that everywhere. And then 2.1, so that shade was 2.2, this is 2.1 which is actually darker, you can see. I'm just going to put that in between some of the other colour and we're just going to blend that in. To blend it in, I'm just going to use my little handheld brush. This is the Evil brush from Iconic London. It's the beautiful rose gold one and this is the buffer brush and we're just going to buff that into our skin. And this makes really quick work of blending your foundation in. When I'm using these stick foundations, obviously Iconic London is the brand of the foundation stick and the brushes, they work really nicely together. Just adding more of the tanned one. And then I feel that you can kind of build this up. I think the coverage is definitely medium but buildable and I like my full coverage. And this brush is really good for going down your neck because it's so big and domed. Blends everything in. Baby hair, get out of my life. From here, I'm going to go in with my concealer and I am trying out the All Nighter Concealer by Urban Decay. I actually used this ages ago before it launched and I really liked it and it was so difficult to get my hands on it. So I just got it in the mail while I was away travelling so I'm going to try this out today and tell you guys how much I like it because I really do like it. I used it yesterday and it looked so good. Although I must admit, I'm so used to the huge big applicator from Tarte that I find this little small one really weird. But you definitely don't need as much product as you would with Tarte. It's super full coverage. And the shade that I'm using right now is medium neutral, which is a little bit dark compared to this foundation. And I'm just going to blend that in with a kind of synthetic domed brush. My eyebrows are so bad, this jet lag is really, really messing with me this time. They go together really nicely actually. If you think I look a little bit different, I got my eyebrows tinted today and they are super dark. I kind of love it. I'm only going to really go through my eyebrows with brow gel today I think. I'm just going on my lid with the All Nitro Concealer from Urban Decay again. We're just going to blend that out. Wow, I put too much on there. Jeez Louise. And I tried this as an eyeshadow base yesterday and it worked really well. That looks really nice. Now, while we're on all of the creams, I'm going to contour with the Iconic Foundation Stick as well. This is probably the only time that I cream contour because these products just blend together really easily. So this is the Foundation Stick in 3.2. It's like a really nice ashy, deeper tone. So we're just going to... And it's not too ashy, I can still kind of bronze with it. I look like a real YouTuber. And then to blend that in, I'm going to use the Sculpting Brush, which is the, also the Evil Collection. I always do this, I always go too ham. 
And because it's a foundation stick, you're getting a little bit added coverage as well, which is absolutely fine with me. This just makes me think I should do this every day because look at that. It's not bad, huh? Next thing I'm gonna do, because I've used so many cream products, I need to kind of set my face a little bit. I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D Blotting Powder in the shade Light, which is well loved, it needs replaced right now. And I'm gonna powder underneath my eyes and on my lid as well, just to prepare for eye makeup. That concealer is set on my lid already, that's crazy. So what I need to do next time is powder my eyeballs quicker because it's creased a little bit. But we've fixed it. We'll powder that down now so it won't move anymore. And then before I add any more bronzer, I'm going to take Patrick Starr's powder by MAC. This powder is amazing for baking. And I don't do it that much, but I love getting my little velvet sponge from LC Cosmetics. Going in with the pointy side and then just really carving out that contour. I've noticed it makes a huge difference in photos. And this is probably the heaviest glam I've done this year so far. And then another thing I've been doing is just setting the sides of my nose. And then just down at the center. I'm just gonna dust that away. And I don't leave it too long, I just want to set that little part of my face before I do my bronzer. Now I'm gonna grab my Dark Tan Bronzer by MAC and I'm just gonna sculpt my cheeks a little bit more. I feel like I'm literally getting rid of the jet lag, blend by blend. I'm looking sufficiently crazy. Time to do our eyes. Let me zoom you in. Whee! This is the 25A palette from Morphe. I've used it a bunch before, but I thought I would bring it back. I'm gonna create an eye look that I've done uh, before. Did it the other day and loads of you guys wanted a tutorial because it's a little bit different for me. So the first color I'm gonna go with is a warm brown, but don't judge me yet. And we're just gonna go in with that color and we're gonna start to build up the crease. And the brush that I'm using is the Smith 232 brush. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow brushes ever. But yeah, I created this eye look the other day and loads of you guys were asking for a tutorial, so here it is. Just backwards and forwards motions, the usual. It's super easy to start your blending when it's a color like this. It is still a bit of a warm brown transition, but when we go deeper, you'll see that I'm switching over to the cooler tones. In these palettes, I know the Morphe gets a, a lot of beef. A lot of people think that YouTubers only promote them for their codes and things like that, but I actually really like the eyeshadows. I think they're really good and they're obviously affordable for you guys. And you can get them really easily on like Beauty Bay and things like that and they just perform really well. Once we've done that, I'm gonna swap over to a smaller brush. This is the Smith 235, I think. And I'm gonna go in with this middle shade here, which is a really cool toned brown. And we're gonna start building up our crease again. Backwards and forwards, just picking your brush up so you can blend the transition shade and the deeper shade together. Don't worry about going onto your lid. We're gonna cover our lid up totally anyway. Just picking up little bits of pigment at a time and blending back and forth. And then I'm going to swap my brush over to just a little bit of a smaller brush. This is the 247. I'm going to go in with the same colour. I do really need to wash my brushes before anyone says, but that jet lag is just... <sighs> I don't want to do it. And I'm going to buff that underneath my eye. And if you've been here before, you'll know that I do this because I love a really smoky under eye. But also, when you mix your eyeshadow in with your concealer underneath your eye, it really stops it from creasing. It's like powdering your eye again. It just makes it look seamless all day. It also makes your eyes look hella big. I'm gonna bring that up just to kind of meet in with the crease. When we get to this stage, I'm gonna go in with this color here. It's the second darkest color in the palette. It's really pigmented, but it can give a little bit of fallout. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little flat brush. This is 253 from Smith. Pop it in the shadow and I'm just gonna press that like, look at that, the pigment. And I'm just gonna lightly press that on all over. If we get, like already I'm getting fallout. But because I've powdered my face already, the fallout will just 
the dust off. But what you can do is you can kind of lean your face forward a little bit. I do not know if you guys can see me do this right now. And then just build that up, go right up to the crease, right up to the outer corner. And again, it's nice because this color is so dark and cool toned, it's a little bit different, you know. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that darker color and then the transition color, and I'm just gonna blend those together and start to smoke out the eye a little bit more. Right, how crazy is that? That's just one eyeshadow. Look at the difference. So this is my kind of day-to-day -day smoky eye. Do this, you're like, wah bam date night. And then you just need to take a little bit of time to make sure your blending's all right. Always going back in with your bigger brushes. For this kind of look, I really like to do my eyebrows last because I don't know how big my blend's gonna end up. I might want to tone down my eyebrows, you know? So I'm just gonna do that with the other eye and I'll just do it. I won't walk you through this one, but I'll just do it on camera so you can see. Like I said, it just takes a lot of blending. So for the next part, we're gonna jazz this up a little bit. Now if you like your matte and your neutrals, then this is a really beautiful, just smoky eye. You can definitely just stick with this. But I'm gonna amp it up a little bit. Here I have one of the Tarte Chrome paints, and this is called Steal the Show. Got my Coconut Fix Plus, my fave. So I'm just gonna spray that. And once I've done that, I'm just gonna put this all over my lid, and it's just a really beautiful midnight blue-gray. Like, it's a really lovely wearable way to wear blue. I struggle with blue eyeshadow actually, I don't bloody like it. But this is stun. And then while that's still just drying, I'm gonna go, <laughs> sorry I have to stay like this. I'm gonna go in with the new Heavy Metal Glitter from Urban Decay. This is the shade Gamma Ray, which is a really beautiful blue. And we're just gonna put that on top. It's like a blue mixed with silver. And the only thing about these, I obviously use these all the time, but you always have to kind of pat them out. Well, actually that's going on quite nice this time. And then I'm just going to go on top with the metal shadow again, and I'm just patting that glitter around. And then you can kind of wait for that to start to dry before you really blend it out or anything. Right up onto the crease. So I'm just going to do that with the other eye. And I'm going to go in with this eye first and just start to darken up that crease right into the inner corner because our dark blue's in there anyway. I definitely think you could do this look eyes first. This is quite a heavy eye to do with your foundation already done. I'm going to add a little bit more of the Urban Decay glitter just because I feel like I lost some of it. I'm getting kind of like Pat McGrath vibes from this look. Now that the glitter is dry, I'm going to go in with the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Liner. This thing's really good, it's just super, super black. I'm going to add on just wee baby flicks. Just like that to kind of elongate the eye a little bit. I'm going to pop off and do my mascara and lashes and I'll be right back. How gorgeous those eyes. I'm going to use my brow shaping mascara from Inglot. This is in the shade, not sure. It's dark brown though. And I'm just going to put this through my eyebrows. Because I just had them tinted, they're super dark, so I don't really need to do anything to them. For anyone asking, I went to NAF, which is the same place I get my nails done. And they just whacked a little tint on for me. And I feel so much better without makeup on when my brows are nice and dark like that. I honestly had no idea what the difference. Look at that, that's probably the most natural my eyebrows have ever been. I'm just going to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone with my Oh Darling highlighter from MAC. Just to add a little bit of light. And I'm just going to finish off my bottom lashes one more time. The mascara that I've been using is the Hot and Naughty Lash by MAC. It is the best. And then the lashes I've got on today are the Lily Lashes in Mykonos. And I really like them, but I actually do think that they are really pretty severe for this look. Like, I think you could probably get away with using a wispier pair if you wanted. Mm, what do you think? Zoom you out and finish this face. Wah! 
Okay, so my skin has stayed fairly matte actually, which is good. And I'm gonna add the highlights back into my skin using the Iconic London Illuminator Drops. I'm going on a holiday really soon and I'm packing these guys to shine up my body. I forgot what I was doing and I put far too much in the back of my hand. You literally need one or two drops and I'm just gonna start patting that on my cheeks and it just gives such a radiant glow. You guys know already that I love these drops. You've seen me use them a million times. And one bottle lasts so long because you only really use a couple of drops a day. The weather being the way it is, having a kind of dewy highlight or rather than a powder highlight looks way more fresh. Tiny touch on the end of my nose. And then if you wanted to get it extra bright and I had all this excess in the back of my hand, you can use a little beauty blender just to top it off. Now for lips, I'm gonna keep it pretty, pretty natural because this look is looking strong. So I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Lip Liner in the shade Stark Naked. And we're just gonna line our lips. And then I'm going to bring the lip liner onto the lip and just kind of colour my lip in. And then I'm going to stick on the Dose of Colours Undressed Lip Gloss, really nice light nude. And now I'm just going to add my little freckle in with my, I don't even know where this is from, Max Factor Masterpiece. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend this, it's just the thing I use right now. But I'm looking for a really nice little felt tip brown liner if any of you can recommend any to fill my freckle in. So you guys, that is the finished look. I hope you liked it. Let me know down below what you would like to see from me next. As always, I will link everything I use down below. And other than that, I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye!